What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be covering some NDL highlights from our war with Terps Wins Big. And guys, we edged this war out on the Terps, uh, they, uh, we actually got them I think on the, on the nines, uh, they, they actually did really good on our, um, on our top, like as you can see there, they got a three star, um, but we were able to do a little bit better job down on the nines, and we're able to pull it out. And guys, this was a great war as a nail biter. I really appreciate that great effort by both teams. And let's get right into it, guys. I'm going to start with number 13. Uh, and that is, and unfortunately, guys, we only have two stars on the 11s and 10s. So I probably won't show you any of that. But we're going to start right here with this hit with Zero Yoshi. And guys, this is a TDH attack. And if you don't know what that is, uh, obviously I made a couple of videos on it. But a TDH attack is basically a Queen Walk Laloon uh, followed up by Mass Minion. And so right here, uh, Yoshi is uh, starting out his funnel for his queen with that baby drag. He's just got that baby drag pushing her uh, the way that he wants her to go. And he obviously wants the queen to go left. And so he's got nine wall breakers here, guys. And I think he's probably going to be looking to wall break in towards his ADs and grab the queen, the CC, and maybe a couple ADs. But it's not, uh, with this attack, guys, it's really not uh, critical that you take the queen down because the minions will attack the queen. And right here, that tells me exactly that's what he's going to do. Uh, he's got his BK down, and that is funneling his queen into those ADs. Now, he may have to hit the king's ability here in a minute uh, to make sure that the queen does not veer off and go down the side of the base. Uh, there's the uh, CC coming in, and that has attracted the queen. Uh, lucky for Yoshi, that could have been uh, ugly right there, but she came back in. And now she is going to do some work. Now it's uh, queen to queen. He has not used another rage yet. He's used a couple of rage, but he was able not to use another one there, and that was good. So he's got the, uh, right here, he's got the enemy king to deal with. But the lot low portion is coming in. And just look at how beautiful this attack plays out. Now he's going to have to probably hit his queen here in a minute. And right now he's holding her, but he's going to have to hit her, hit her. There she goes. And now she is good to go. But watch these balloons that all this is going on at one time. Yoshi is not phased. He is just fine. He's fighting a sweeper here though, uh, but that's no problem. He's going to get through it. And so now I'm going to speed it up just a little bit because as you can see, this base is a wrap. Great job, Zero Yoshi. Excellent attack. And by the way, he rolled a six pack this war with that very same attack. So now we're going to roll out on number 18, which is being performed by Fudu. I hope I got that right. I'll scroll, I'll put my name down a little bit there so you can see the attacker's name. Uh, but he's got a Shattered uh, Gohobo, or Shattered Hobo, whatever you want to call it. And right here he's creating, a, he's got a really large funnel for a Shattered. This is um, kind of interesting to have this big of a funnel. And in this Shattered Hobo, guys, he, he's essentially wanting to get that Queen, the CC, and hopefully get, uh, you know, the Bomb Tower and maybe an area that has possible big bomb locations all right so let's watch this looking really good jumps got to go down here bud jump oh, okay he, all right he didn't play the jump there he he decided to let him break in King's ability here in a minute there it is that was some pretty good patience right there by Fudu that looked like it could have been uh, dangerous uh, but he held on and it's gonna be nice now really nice heal right there and now he's got one more heal for the back end and, and man it doesn't look that strong Queen's ability here will get him through the X-Bow and that X-Bow is a wrap look at that beautiful the hogs are moving through so clean really nice stuff right here those Teslas can be dirty, though. Look at them go. There we go. Hogs are going to fight off the skellies, and now it's cleaned up, guys. So, that's a wrap. Great job, Fudu. Oh, he's got 
And now next time you might need to carry some archers for cleanup. But great job. All right, so this next attack on 23 is a Gobo Laloon by Yakuza. And this thing was really nice. And guys, I love Gobo Laloons. I actually failed one uh, in this war. Just didn't have enough gas at the back end of it. Um, I wish I could have got it got it to uh, succeed though. But anyway, and this is yet another huge funnel right here, guys. Really big funnel. He's gonna get a lot of value, but he's gonna lose the one golem and looks like the queen possibly. Nope, she's gonna attack. She's gonna. Yep, yeah, he's losing her. So let's slow it down. He's lost that queen, but she has got a tanking golem, and it ends up being okay. His core shot kind of faded out, um, so that's okay there as well. And now, as you can see, he's tightened up this base for the Lalo. Queen phase. And right here, this puzzled me. Right here, guys. He is going in to the sweepers. I just didn't quite uh, understand that. Queen is down. Uh, he's lost a hound right there. He's got one more hound. Needs these balloons to get going. They're still fighting those sweepers. Uh, but his top deployment is looking really good. And everything moves in. And guys, this attack, even though he fought two sweepers, it ends up being really strong in the end. Look at all the balloons left right here. Really amazing attack. Uh, I gotta say, I'm sorry I doubted you there, uh, Yakuza. I got concerned with those sweepers, but buddy, you pulled it off like a pro. Great job. And guys, every war you're gonna see, you're gonna see one of these. I guarantee it. You're gonna see a witch slap. And this base is perfect for slap. As you can see, the ADs are all on one end. And so all you gotta do is funnel. But but now we'll see this boss uh, does something very unique here. He actually goes, I thought he would go from uh, from six to nine, but he, he elected to go uh, three to six. Uh, and I was just thinking, you know, these back AD right here could be a problem for his healers. But Boss figures that his core shot is going to get there and take him out. And he's right. So Right here, everything's going in really clean. Looking nice. Really uh, deep set rage. I really like that, Boss. Nice. Look at these bowlers go. Beautiful work here. Uh, by the boss. Alright. And right now, the, the witches are actually uh, a little bit over there by their, their lonesome on the AD side, but the queen has went into that compartment, and now with this one AD left, it's okay. Uh, these healers are going to be fine. The, the witches should be... Uh, should have the range for that AD that close, but it, they did maybe... Um, lose a healer I'm not quite sure but I'm gonna speed it up because these attacks move at the speed of slow now they're gonna blow out there the king's got a healer the queen's coming up that one wizard tower will not stand too much uh, attacking it and just like that this base is a wrap great job boss excellent attack all right, guys, and for the last uh, the last attack I'm going to show here is number 30, and that is by Krypton. And this base, yet again, now this base, uh, I'm going to stop it here because I've, I've made videos about this. This base is uh, ideal for slap. Uh, you can slap up here from 9 to 12, but Krypton says, you know what? I'm going to shatter Hobo this base. And he does a great job. He's got... Um, an anchor right there and I'm not sure if he's gonna anchor on this one or not we'll see no he anchors on the, the archer tower so he's going right into the expo moat and that expo moat usually there's gonna be uh, at least one big bomb there uh, possibly uh, two but not all the time so he's looking to get one bomb cleared the Queen the CC uh, and he's good to go if he does that and there's one bomb guys there's one bomb he's already got one clear 
So now if whatever he gets out of his kill squad, if he gets some good value here, he can save those heals for the hogs on the back end and literally blanket that end of the base. Yep, his kill squad is still up. So right here, Krypton knows that this base is wrecked. He doesn't even have to do any more. He knows it's wrecked. But right here, he runs into a problem. And this, I think, was a fresh hit. Uh, Krypton did not realize those were there. He ended up deploying all of his hogs because if he did not, they would have all died right then. But he, he did lose some hogs to that, um, to that Tesla farm. But right here, as you can see, they're going to get through the rest of this base, no problem. Although that one cannon or two cannons are still up, it doesn't matter. This base is a wrap. And Krypton, that was a great, a great recovery, really, because, I mean, going into a Tesla farm like that and not really knowing it's there and just reacting with the speed that you did uh, pulled off that three-star. And, guys, uh, I just want to congratulate or, or not congratulate, but give a, a, a shout out to Terps when big this is a great uh, a great war by both teams uh, you always have to have a winner and a loser of course but guys uh, I, I consider this a win-win for both teams uh, they both played really hard and it was a really hard fought uh, battle and ultimately we pulled off the victory in the circle guys so uh, with that being said guys I'm gonna wrap it up I don't want to take any more of your time I can uh, I have been accused of being a little long-winded and I can be that way guys but anyway I'm gonna cut this short and guys I'm gonna let you know too though before I go uh, if you're interested in our family of clans and you fit our criteria for recruitment we have uh, uh, our discord links to our recruitment server and we have our discord link to our family uh, of clans and also the general public is welcome there as well in the circle of clans we actually have about 600 members in our site and it is open to the general public so you're more than welcome to come in there and talk with us anytime and with that being said guys i am out of here